seems likely Republicans will have enough support to confirm the president's nominee after Senator Mitt Romney came out in favor of holding a vote. Congressional expert James Walner of the R Street Institute tells me there are still unanswered questions, though. But I would just caution everyone that we don't know who that pick is. We don't know how long the Senate needs to review the pick's uh, record, the nominee's record. And ultimately, politics is a dynamic process. Just like with this Supreme Court nomination, uh, anything can happen. The stakes of a solidly conservative Supreme Court are high. It could jeopardize the future of Obamacare and the landmark abortion rights case, Roe versus Wade. Leader McConnell's actions may now very well destroy the institution of the Senate. Democrats have accused Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of hypocrisy for considering a Ginsburg replacement after not allowing a vote on former President Barack Obama's Supreme Court nominee, Judge Merrick Garland, during an election year. One big question now is how this issue might help or hurt vulnerable Senate Republicans up for re-election. Walner says it's case by case. I think that you have Republicans like Cory Gardner who probably don't, don't want to be put in this spot. The same thing with uh, Senator Susan Collins. But you may have Republicans from uh, redder states, and potentially like a Tom Tillis in North Carolina, who it could help. So I think it just depends. Regardless, the vacancy on the high court is mobilizing voters. Democrats have set fundraising records since Ginsburg's death. The donation site Act Blue has raked in over $160 million for the party. Republicans will probably also see a jolt. Walner tells, tells me judicial nominees traditionally haven't galvanized Democrats to the same degree as Republicans, but he says that may be changing. It could have a major impact on the level of enthusiasm in this election. Go ahead and add it to COVID and the left's uh, distrust and, and, and dislike of President Trump, and it could be something that boosted even further the turnout.